All right, everybody, today on Fixin' with a Kid, we have this pressure washer. It's a little windy today, so hopefully the video audio comes through. But a friend of ours purchased this pressure washer, and the person said it had not run in a couple of years. So normally what happens with these when they don't run for a while is the uh, ethanol and the gas. Uh, sticks the bowl in the carburetor and as you can see by the discoloration under here it's been overflowing gas out of the bowl so it's kind of like the back of your toilet how it has a shut off when the water fills up the tank it shuts off well basically the same thing is happening right in there so we'll get this cover off the air filter off it has a strong smell of gas uh, we'll check it out I'll get you in the stand and we'll see what's going on Okay, we are outside because of the gas smell, and you can tell by the flapping of the tags and stuff. It's pretty windy out here. So, I'm going to take the cover off, the air filter cover. Okay, there is the air filter. And look at the color of that. It's supposed to be white. That's bad gas. That's ethanol gas. And you can tell by the discoloration here, this is all sticky. And uh, the choke is stuck. The choke is right in there. It's stuck. So let's. we're going to have to take this carburetor apart and clean it. Okay, got that off. Okay, I stand corrected. It is a wind vane choke. So, choke is not stuck, but we're still going to pull the carburetor apart and see what goodies are in there waiting on us. All right, to remove this carburetor, we're going to have to shut off the gas. There is no food. There is no fuel shutoff, so I use a pair of needle nose vice grips. Adjust them down to where they just pinch the line, and that'll shut our gas off. So now I need to remove these two bolts and pull the carburetor. Okay, two Phillips screws. Take this cover off. It's just a decorative cover pulls right off. So then we want to take this choke I'm going to take this choke vein off. Say there's a spring. I've disconnected the spring. There we go. Spring is spring is right there. Take this carburetor throttle linkage off. And there you go. Carburetor is off. I'll get us a spot cleaned off here and we'll dive into it. All right, I've got a little jelly jar here. I'm going to, if there's any gas left in here, I'm going to pour it into the jelly jar. And there's a little bit. I don't see any I don't see any water it's very yellow though and usually you can usually you can tell the water will separate there'll be a, a layer of water and then a layer of gas this is just old gas all right so we'll get this carburetor open and see what it looks like okay. I didn't really go over the specifics of this this is a Briggs and Stratton engine probably around uh, three or four five, five horsepower I'd have to look at look at it all right get it where I can show you a lot of yellowing and a lot of trash in the bowl all right here's the float I talked about like on a toilet 
the float closes. Here's where your gas comes in. The float opens and it fills up this bowl. I have it upside down, but this is on the bottom. And then when it fills up, it's supposed to shut off. That comes down and shuts it off. There's a needle, little rubber needle in here. Let me show you what that looks like. You pull this pin. Lift up this float. There's the needle. Everything in here is yellowed from the... And then there's a little seat right in there. Again, everything is yellowed. All that in there. And that, my friends, is from ethanol. All right, I'm going to get some carb cleaner, get this cleaned up, and I'll bring you back. All right, in the bottom that holds that bowl on is this nut. And you'll see there are holes. There's a hole right there and one on the other side, and then right in the middle is the jet. That's the number one jet. That's your high-speed jet. When that gets plugged up, it will not run. And it's in the very bottom of that bowl, so all this junk from that ethanol plugs up this bowl nut and your lawnmower, your generator, your pressure washer, anything that has this type of engine on it will not run because that little hole is plugged up. All right, what, what I use to clean these plugged bowl nuts is you can buy these little, uh, they're actually a set of tip cleaners for like welding tips. And uh, you can, they're all different sizes. And you can find the size that you need to go in there and clean that out. And a little bit of carb cleaner. Clean that out real good. Uh, we're going to clean this thing up and put it back together. All right. I've got it back together. It goes back on there like that. You should be able to turn it up and down and hear that little float going up and down. So I'm going to show you a way that I test them to see if that float is sealing. Okay, the way that I test it is I put a piece of clean fuel line on it. I have a long piece of fuel line and then there's the end. I hold it like this. And I blow air through it. If I turn it like this and blow air, you can hear air coming out of it. When I flip it over and it's shut, I can't get any air through it. I can blow air that way and not that way. All right, so we're going to put it back together. Okay, I've got the carburetor back together. I've got the gas turned back on. I'm waiting to make sure we don't have any gas coming out the front of the bowl carburetor around the bowl so far nothing and if the float is not closing it will either run out the front of the carburetor which it had been doing or it can run back through the engine into your oil so you want to make sure you always check your oil level I check the oil level here it's normal uh, gas can go into your oil thin out your oil cause your engine to burn up so you want to check your oil make sure every time you run the unit before you run it, you want to check the oil, make sure you haven't had that happen. Anytime debris can get trapped, there's no fuel filter on this. So if you have debris in your gas, it can go through your line, get stuck in between that um, needle, and uh, won't shut your gas off and your gas will back up into your engine. So you got to be very careful. I'm going to uh, let this set a few more moments, and the next time you see it, I'm going to fire it up. All right, moment of truth. Still hasn't dripped any gas. Right? Still hasn't dripped any gas. Let's see if it'll fire up and let's see if the pressure washer will work. Alright everybody, there you have it. 
pressure washer has been restored. It's not a very strong pressure washer. It's only 2550 PSI, but it's great little homeowner size. It'll be perfect for the person that's bought it. And uh, it's running again. All right, everybody, thank you for watching Fixing with a Kid, another project done. And uh, hopefully it helps you. All engines are different. This is, like I said, uh, it's a Briggs & Stratton 6.75 uh, foot-pounds engine. So uh, it's roughly around a four or five, six horsepower engine. So anywhere around that range will basically be the same if it's designed that way with a bowl carburetor. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.